I see this scheme as a, as a once in a career scheme, really having the opportunity to work on this. Flood risk in the southwest of England is it's pretty prominent, uh, sort of the natural topography, the sort of rainfall totals we get. It, we've already got a problem which we're trying to resolve and yeah with the impacts of climate change it's only going to get worse with time unfortunately so we need to we're trying to get ahead of the game. So we had lots of flooding in 2012 in the area, 2014 we had another event with dozen plus properties at risk. The surface water management plan we undertook identified in excess of 100 properties at risk. We identified uh, the knoll, uh, this parkland as an area where we could put a scheme in. So originally we were thinking of an earth embankment, um, a, a bog standard scheme, but we thought we could do something more impressive than that. They then said, whoever the engineer was, turned around and said, well, actually, we could make something really nice here. Would you like, would you like an amphitheatre? It's like, of course we will. This here, I mean, is, is unbelievable. And uh, it, it was the brainchild of, uh, I, I think, uh, a gentleman from, from Jacobs who actually came up with the amphitheatre idea. And, uh, well, he, he deserves all the credit he can get. And uh, I'd take my hat off to him if I had one on. One of our landscape architects visited a National Trust site and had a sudden inspiration and thought, you know what, we could do that. Although it's not actually um, the first time that idea has come about. In 1969, uh, when the Folk Festival first started using uh, the site, uh, that, that idea was, was, was first came about. So um, we've actually come along and, and formalised that initial idea. And then our technical lead sat at home one evening and uh, put pen to paper and came up with this idea. Yeah, so obviously where we've got flood defence projects, it's quite common just to see a flood defence wall or some kind of hard infrastructure being constructed. Obviously that kind of solution does exactly what it says on the tin, it's going to defend properties from flooding. But quite often for the other 364 days a year, it stood there vacant, not doing anything and has no other use. So the real benefit of dual use is that it provides more than one potential benefit. It's not just protecting properties from flooding, it's providing an amphitheatre for the town to have its performance event space. It's not something that Devon has done before, Devon County Council, it's very new, it's very innovative. There was a bit of nervousness, yes. It didn't take too much convincing, I don't think. Once they saw, saw the idea on paper, um, we also, used some um, 3D visualizations to and, and fly-throughs to show what it would look like and that really helped to bring the scheme to life and make people see what, what it could be. Certainly when this was first approached to the town council, I mean, it really was quite excitement where, where you could see um, and they, they did an artist impression of it and it's pretty similar to what they, they proposed. Um, and it, it was exciting. Why, why would you not be? The, the key thing with the collaboration is having the main client, Devon County Council, has been very supportive from the outset. So there could have been more straightforward, simple idea for delivering um, the flood protection. But actually, um, we suggested a more um, cohesive solution. And their support has then enabled us to, to push that design forward. The whole way from uh, from Jacobs, Southwest uh, Highways, uh, working with the district, the town council, the county council, uh, getting the funding for the project uh, through uh, the Environment Agency, the Southwest Regional Flood and Coast Committee. Everybody worked together, and that's what it's all about: working together as a team to uh, to, to for, the, for the benefit of the uh, people of Sidmouth and the wider area.
think it's going to bring flood risk issues to the forefront a bit more because people will see this and wonder what it is and um, make them think about the flood risk issues. Without a doubt, uh, this facility is going to pull in people from many, many miles away. And so what's that do? That is great for the local economy. Uh, that's going to put the uh, get the tills ringing in the town. Uh, you know, so, so it's a win-win and uh, well done, everybody. It's improved what we had here, made it more usable, made it more interesting, made it more modern. Um, and yet, you know, it's still classical at the same time. It's a very, very clever scheme and it's very, very cleverly thought out. And I'm really proud that Sibbeth was chosen to put it in here. Yeah, this is, this is for me, who's a real suds or sustainable drainage systems geek, blue green infrastructure, I love it. So for me, this is an opportunity of a lifetime to get my chance to create something like this, work with people like landscape architects, work with ecologists, work with geotechnical engineers to create something that's truly special. 2014, serious problems. Uh, about 50 properties, businesses got flooded in the town and about 40, 42 millimetres of rain fell in about 12 hours. A couple of days ago, five hour period, 57 millimetres, two and a half inches of water fell out of the sky. Uh, actually, this scheme worked, came down to swell the water into the tanks, which are beneath this uh, amphitheatre, and uh, protected all those properties. Not one report of any flooding in any property, any business. Brilliant, working. So working with Jacobs, is, we've worked with them on many schemes, and this scheme has kind of really shown what's capable, what can be achieved, and uh, yeah, what sort of unique sort of traits and talents that Jacobs has as an organisation. I hope this will be an inspiration, not only for the likes of uh, drainage engineers, but also people who are thinking of how public spaces should be planned and delivered in the future. This is something that we've delivered through COVID. It's been a real challenging time, but it, I think what it's shown more than anything that people have started to value these green open spaces. They understand actually this is a real mental health benefit there's obviously there's benefits to the community and all of these other aspects should be just part of these designs as they're developed rather than seen as something that might be something instead of. This should just be a, a dual use approach, should just be taken forwards for the future of our cities and our towns. Mm -hmm.